Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, and Lent is the six-week period leading up to Easter. And on Ash Wednesday, we traditionally remember things we'd like to say sorry for, and we reflect on our own mortality. We ask God for forgiveness and the hope of eternal life. And so I invite you to join in with the words on the screen. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For times we have not loved others, Lord, have mercy. For times we have not loved ourselves, Lord, have mercy. For times we have not loved God, Lord, have mercy. As a sign of the spirit of penitence with which we keep this season of preparation for Easter, I invite you to make on your head the sign of the cross, the symbol of our salvation. Be ready to make it on your forehead with ashes if you have them to hand. As I say the following words. Remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so to our dismissal. In the footsteps of centuries of pilgrims, Go now to embark on your Lenten journey. Consider how you may simplify your days so that you may travel lightly. Be alert to all that could sidetrack you. Notice that which beckons alluringly or with apparent greater urgency than the pilgrim journey Christ invites. Do not try to cover more than one good day's journey at a time. Know when to stop for food and sleep so that the journey will not be too great for you. Walk humbly, knowing that the goal is not recognition, achievement or reward, but simply to have come to know Christ and yourself more intimately. Be on the lookout for other pilgrims, caring for those who limp or fall, those who cannot see the way forward. Pilgrimage is richer in community. Go now, place your hand into the outstretched hand of Jesus Christ. He knows the way. He will guide you. Go in peace. Mend what is broken. Unite what is divided. Live the gospel in the name of Christ. Amen.